from my buddy Timmy, who is currently out at Showdown Smash's Rivals of the Games Tournament. Anyway, we are on Dreamland, we are in Game 1, and these boys are doing what they do. Lyft showing off his excellent fox trotting skills, like, I'm so jealous of that, that is so cool. And Hitaku just being like, nah, dog, I got platforms, I don't have to worry about this. Anyway, starting off with that Shadow Ball in the Interested to see what this adaptation is doing. Oh, catch him. Alright. I have to compliment Lyft for actually shielding that dash attack. That Shadow Ball into dash attack gets so many people. But Lyft is like, no, 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 I'm on your tricks. Because I'm pretty smart. Chris, sorry, Lyft, is a uh, player that I truly respect. Uh, he works hard. He knows what he wants. And right now, he wants that one. Uh, I am surprised to see him playing this aggressively against Hitaku on a platform stage, but he and Hitaku have matched up many times before, and I think he's just trying something new. Uh, I think trying to force Hitaku into playing your game might be the way to go for him today. But we'll see how this pans out for him. Yuji was so slippery, though. I'm liking the shield pressure out of lift with those smash attacks. Uh, little Mac kind of designed to just mess you up if you let him. So, having something like great shield pressure on a really light character is gonna pay dividends for you. The Shadow Punch was on deck, but. Feet back here, stealing it away from him. Excellent job recovering from the lift. Dude, that. I know he was pretty high up, but that's really nice. I'm sorry if I'm, a, if I'm a little quiet on this. I'm just really trying to figure out how the lift is going to take advantage or change up his game plan to uh, speak more accurately and get this game. I'm, like I said, I have immense respect for Chris. He finds a game plan where oftentimes I don't think there could be one. So, I'm really interested to see what his decision is going to be. On the ledge is not ever a place you want to find yourself versus Little Mac. Oh, it feels so safe. Like, ah, actually, I got you with smashes. But, speaking of I got you, Hitaku punching that uh, up B in the neutral with, <laughs> with an up smash. Lift feeling pretty brave while it's still got those invincibility frames, using them to absorb that shadow. I'm so proud of Lyft. Both players played that oh, stupendously. Lyft played Little very man. patiently. Found himself a game plan. And took that first game. Survival. Right. Picking stages. Look at the smile on Lyft's face. That's what I like to see. Kotaku picking another platform stage. Three, two, okay. one. I'm curious if has I'm curious if Hitaku is gonna switch up his gameplay. And he already has been. He's playing a lot more in Lyft's face. I don't 
don't necessarily know that that's in his favor. Uh, I mean, Tachi is a far better Mewtwo than I am. He's probably way more familiar with this matchup. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I definitely don't think that he can just sit back the entire time. He does have to get it in the face. Uh, he's done a very good job of punishing the aggression. Oh, but that's pretty good. Watching this. This is so great. Okay. We're talking now, falling back into that patient play. Alright. What I think is his first victory over Hitaku. 